And here we go. Right, shoe. Viking 86. Locked and loaded. And here we are this on the same map as before where we first saw the Viking 86 debut their grenade. <laughs> it's wonderful to be coming back here, but I'm not sure if there's going to be much, uh, much room for these awesome grenade kills again because with these loadouts, it's a lot, it's going to be a lot of running in, trying to get close with these dual SMGs, and then they've got that shield on their back again that we've yeah, seen so before. Seems that they just have their throwing knives and a smoke grenade in the arsenal today as well as a riot shield, but again, with the dual welding SMGs as well. Another running the gun tactic. Come in handy. Yeah, a bit of some deception planes. A Tino. It's quite evenly matched at the moment. We've got the Viking 86 out in front on two kills. Make that three kills. How did he Over sense one. that Tino up was up behind him? I didn't even hear his footsteps. Oh, I didn't hear it, but he might, it may have the, uh, the sound effects in the audio settings, like raised all the way up with those sweet surround sound headphones, hearing mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. other players laughing. Here we got the smoke oh. grenade brought into play as they are now frantically engage <laughs> with the alleyway, trying to land any hits. I don't know if either of them were hitting anything, but they know for sure they're definitely not still in that alleyway. The chase is on. Oh, it's a back and forth. Tino defends themselves well. Viking 86 may be a little bit too aggressive. Before we even have a chance to breathe, they're back at it again. Tino taking another kill. It's now three all. We've got a much more evenly matched game on our hands this now. This is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll does not always work when there's not a fire. Oh, oh the drop! Tino is just on an absolute rampage at the moment. I feel like there's a little bit of hope lying down, you know, belly down on the ground that the shield will, def you know, defend your back and you're almost like going down like a turtle, but is that that your face is still exposed to the hail of bullets from these SMGs? Ooh. A, a quick little oh man, that's a slide into, into Viking 86. That was beautiful. But the Viking 86 may have... May have been dropped a few times there, but his back was able to anticipate that one. His back hopefully could keep it rolling. A smoke grenade's gone out to obscure the middle of the map. Tino using his cover, moving across under the lower levels of the map, heading up and around, trying to find where where Vikings is. Vikings is nice and safe up on top, opting to jump down. He can hear him smashing through the glass. Jumps down, gets the jump on him Ooh. and takes him out. Epic stuff. Back in the alleyway. Smoke goes out. Even just to distract them. Maybe lure them to another point on the map and get around <laughs> behind them. Here we Ooh, go. That is what Pino oh! tries to do there. And he is successful with the beautiful headshot. 7 to 5 now with a 1 minute and 40 seconds left on the clock in our match between Tino and the Viking 86. It could go. It's, it's you know, 7 to 5. It could, could still go either way. There's plenty of time for both players to get out and uh, really get on a... Uh, a Schmoldsworthy kill streak. They found Whoa. each other. They're here. I think they definitely heard each other before they saw each other there. Catches. Ooh, Tino, Tino catches just... Vikings mid run. Frantically Ooh. looking around, looking for any sign of life, listening for footsteps. Broken glass Ooh. catches him. Does not land. Right. Clambers, clambers around the building. It's now oh. frantic. Low health. Oh, Tino. Even though Vikings here you are know, doing some acrobatics, but Tino's just able to keep those shots focused on. Even if it's just hitting him in the leg or the foot, the damage is still going out. Moving back through the alleyway. A, a, a classic spot, you know, sort of peek out to check the rest of the map. Across the bridge. Who's going to get the first oh. shot? It's Vikings. The knife kill with the throwing knife kill. The first one that we've seen today. I am excited about that. I don't know if they're excited about how much time is left. Well, Viking 86, to, to be exact, there's only oh 12 God, seconds left on the clock. He's got to get now. two kills to get in front. He's got to move. Move with a purpose. He gets one. It's nine overtime? all. Four seconds left on the clock. 
they just caught each other. Oh, and Tito gets it. Yes. By the skin of it, hey, Tino oh, gets. Tino just managed to get that extra kill on top of the Viking 86 in a very, very close game, 10 to 9. Just <laughs> half a second from turning it into an overtime match. Wow, I, I really, Tino. I, I felt we were going to an overtime, but we were proven wrong. We were proven wrong. My God. And you caught it. The knife kill in there. We've got some great utilization of the smoke grenades. You know, they're listening. You can see they're listening for the footsteps, the breaking of the glass. You know, as soon as you hear that glass, you're like, well, they've got to be going through that window. One way or another, they're, they're going through that and then using the levels to their advantage. But a lot of sliding and acrobatics as well. That's what we, we experienced that last time with this map. I really like this one because you've got that. You've got those choke points in the alleyways and then you've got the the different levels, which is great. But we should definitely, thanks to Ace Gamer Crowd, let's go back and take some of those replays before we move on. Just to, just to blink and you'll miss it. <sighs> the slow mo is on. These, these close jewels. Oh, it's too epic to see. Oh, the high ground isn't always best. Fuck. Oh. It, sometimes it, it can come down to whoever gets the, the shots off first, but then as well, you know, you've got to maintain. You're battling the recoil. You're oh. watching where they're going. You've got to keep your 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 real reticule fixed on them, factoring in all these things to try and just. And if you can try and lead the shots up to their head, preferably, but you know, it's easy. It's easy us for us to say in the replays with slow mo, but in the moment, it's that's a split second. That's split second decisions. That's intense. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Especially with like the uh, the movement mechanics that we have in the game. It definitely you can be doing a lot of jumping, a lot of sliding, and just trying to trying to get your crosshair onto that center of mass, or even like the center of their forehead is kind of you really got to put your mass settings up very very high. But I believe we have our next match coming up very shortly, and I am I am still. Very excited for that as we move into this. Take it away, Corbs. Let's get into it. I think it's I think it's time for not only us, but the players to lean forward in their chairs to get those pixel perfect headshots as the loadout has changed here in round two. So we're gonna we're gonna see some different strategies, maybe some different different gameplay styles. Mm. And you can hear that the grenade is back. Are we gonna see our favorite? Grenade across the map, Bills. In this one, first kill. Viking. Viking 86. Yes. As you, you can know, see, the one. arsenal, the loadout, the everything has changed. We have our smoke grenade. We have our HE grenades. We also have the WSP swarm as well as a pistol in the loadout now. So, will the uh, tactics be changing? How will these players be playing? I am excited. I'm keen to see if any of these guys will be changing up the tactics and the strategies. There's no, uh, there's Ooh. no opportunity to uh, turtle up and util use that uh, right shield on your back this time. It's all just use it, util utilizing these two guns. But you know, these, like you said, these, uh, this has to be the swarm. You, you can just, it can just be an absolute bullet hose. But then they've got this uh, sidearm to rely on, as the Call of Duty tutorial will always tell you. It's faster to switch to a sidearm than it is to reload, and hopefully they remember that. Exactly, exactly. And uh, it, it seems that the Viking 86 has changed the way that they play in that first few kills there. It seems that they were very I happy sitting, the window. <laughs> sitting and waiting for Tino to come round and about, but now they've been knocked off their perch. Viking 86 will have to try and find somewhere to sit up top and be safe from Tino, who is running and jumping and slipping and sliding, hunting for this win. HG Grenade goes into the window. It's nothing. I've just, um, it's just clicked for me that Tino is actually using the Rick Grimes uh, character character model, of course, popularized you know, from the Walking Dead comic books and, more importantly, the TV, zero, TV series. And as he might say, Ooh. there are no rules. You know, the rules are out the window. <laughs> I butchered that <laughs> accent. Please, in that impression, please disregard. Ooh. And here we go. No, the no, excellent right. grenade kill to distract us. 
Mm. Elsa, that is not a smoke grenade. I have missed that. Oh, Tino with another headshot with a WSP. So warm. Four to five now. Excellent. Two minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock. Both Excellent. Once again. Oh, wait, wait, down, down the lane there. Just control that fire. Gee, the the reflexes there. You've got to be. You've got to be ready for these characters. They, they, they're sliding and. Bopping around, you never know how they're going to be moving. Yeah, I, I actually think Tino has has gotten the Viking 86's strats, or at least the way that they play, a little bit down to because it seems like Tino seems to be the run and jump and slide type of player when they come into these close encounters, but the Viking 86 likes to crouch and get into a prone position to make their... make their... Uh, their hitbox as small and low to the ground as possible! No! Oh! Nearly, nearly. Viking six taking a nice perch. Kill. A nice perch up here. De feeling very confident sitting up here. Just watching the map. He spots him, but he's down below. He's under the bridge. Can he get the jump on him? He makes an attempt, but no, Tino. Tino, just the reaction there. Six to six, still so evenly matched. Oh, is that going to? No. Respect for Viking 86. Making the attempts with those grenades. It may not happen, oh. but, you know... How just did... trying is, have, is good enough for me. Both That's players I... dropped on each other there and had no idea that they had, like, dropped onto each other. But how, how did he come out on top of that? I, I'm not sure. I, it's hard to... The, some of these, like, when they really get close to each other, it, it can be... It's Like, again, it's a blink and you'll miss it. Kind of moment, but we we the clock coming is out, is counting going to... down. Oh! Oh, oh no! no. Opting like to throw out the, the grenade, but the lag there. It's it's like, it was almost like still reaching for the grenade to throw it, but then in that I... brief window, Tino was able to just get the bullets out. I feel like the Viking eighty six's mouse needs to be needs the batteries changed or something. Or there's a bit of lag because there's just. Just a half or a second. Yes. I'm noticing that too, especially up sitting up on some of those vantage points, keeping an eye on any ways that Tino may be traveling around the map. This is that quite delay that I'm not, that just doesn't seem right to me. But there, Tino gets out in front and stays there and takes a, takes another point.